uh, I'm introduce Abby Talk classroom uh, uh, classroom dashboard along with the um, couple of Abby Talks mobile apps. See how those classroom mobile apps works with Abby Talk classroom uh, dashboard. Here is my browser, and then you can see it's uh, we hosted at abbytalk.com server. You can use your computer's browser to log into the dashboard and uh, to manage your class students, the class assignments and the homework. Here is my um, iPad, iPad simulator, and here is my Android app. And uh, I'm going to show you how all those different platforms work together. And uh, I'm going to uh, use the uh, Abby Talk dashboard to manage the students and the content. So first of all, I need to log in as a teacher, or the students can also use the um, dashboard to log in as a student to work on their homework, which the teacher assigned to them. And uh, I'm going to log in as a, uh, as a teacher. Um, you need to create the Abitalk account if you don't have an account yet. Here, you can create the three different type of accounts. One is the teacher account or the student's account or the parent's account. Um, the student's account, we, uh, you need to use the login ID to log in and the, the email uh, is not required, but if you want to type your email address, that's fine. And then the password. And uh, for the teacher account, um, we do need your email address and uh, for register the account. Once you complete the, complete the registration, then you will receive confirmation email from us. And once we confirm your email, then you can log into your account. So I'm going to log into my account because I already created one earlier. There, so I logged in and uh, you can see I have all those uh, content I created earlier and I have some students here. Then I can add new students. Let's see if I add um, somebody here um, as a student and uh, the email is not required so i don't want to type the email address for the students and i do need a password so i create this uh, bob student and um, and the later the bob can log in to do his homework from uh, from his ipad let's see here is uh, you know the later i will show you how bob log into the app and see the teacher's content uh, teacher's assignment uh, the teacher created for them so here is the content management so i'm going to create a new lesson let's say um going to create a homework today is 16. Okay, so here I create a homework. So I need to add some uh, homework assignments there. Mm, let's see if I have a... Oh yeah, I want to show you a really cool feature we have. Um, if you can, you can enter your uh, homework from your, uh, your questions from the spreadsheets. Here's the templates about uh, the spreadsheets you can enter your content, and here I entered the you know the some sample questions here. Here is the question, and you type like a, a four different choices for the multiple choice question, and then you pick the correct answer for this question. You know, let's say this one is one, or you know, correct answer is two. So, once you finish, create the um, the spreadsheets, and let's save this. As download uh, as uh, Microsoft Excel. Oh yeah, this spreadsheet is on Google Doc. So I'm going to download this one into my local computer. Okay, here is the file I just downloaded, and I'm going to upload it to the uh, to my dashboard. So I just drop off this file here. As you see. All the questions are inserted into the dashboard. 
and you of course you can manually type some questions like uh, um, yeah um, let me show you say Patty is playing tennis she hates 16 and this is nine. How many balls? And then you can pick six or twenty five, sixteen, just pick some random choices, and then the correct answer is 25 which is choice 2 and then once you fill in all the field and then you can click this button add now we have this question added you can always modify the questions or you can you can delete or you can modify by click on this and then so so you can add let's see you know I want to change the name to Andrea or something See, this became Andrea. Anyway, so I create this homework assignment. I'm going to go back, pick a student, so the students can answer those questions. So I pick Amy, actually, it's so myself. And um, those, we have some built-in built content for the uh, lower grade students for the math. We have uh, different categories, you know, we have addition, subtractions, you now we have a, a pattern fraction, time, money, and uh, you know, the students can play with uh, you know, the, the, uh, our built-in content, or the students can go to the self-created content. Then you know, this, they can look at the, uh, say this, uh, the teacher created the content for the homework today. And um, I'm going to show you for, from the student's point of view, so here is my iPad. Let's say uh, I will log in as the students. Remember, we just create the Bob account. I'm going to log in as Bob. Use the login ID, but not the user, not the email address. The teacher needs to log in, use their email address, but students can use their login ID to log in. So once you log in, then you cannot access the teacher's dashboard because you don't have a, a access right. You don't have the right. But you can uh, look at your report. But from here, you go to, you know, the uh, you go to answer those. You know, the, do your homework here, and you look at this is the today's homework, and uh, yeah, I'm going to work on my homework here. So the app will record how many uh, right answers the student did and the how many problems attempt and the how long it would take them to finish this assignment. Okay, here I did wrong, and then the app will show you the explanations, you know, the what's the correct answer, why you did it wrong, and then we'll move on to the next one. See here, you answered four, four problems, and then you have three correct answers. Okay, I finished today's homework. Now go back. See here it shows you the completed the question. And then um, in order for the teacher, you can look at your student's report. And uh, let's go over here. Look at this is Amy Chen. I want select Bob. And then look at the today's homework. And uh, Bob did five questions total. And then, so here is the, uh, the detailed question to show the timestamp when the student did it and then the uh, 
you know, the result. So this one is wrong. We marked it as a red color. So you click on it, you can see the student's answer, why, you know, which answer they picked and why it's wrong. And uh, here are the correct answer. So the teacher can also look at other people's, um, you know, other students' report. And this one we have, I think Amy Chen did this, yeah. Okay, here is Amy's report. Okay, so this is Android app. And this is my Android device. And I'd say I, this one I logged in as a teacher, but you can log in as a student too. So let's see if I log in as a student. Mm -hmm. I log in as Amy. Okay, those are the built-in content. I want to look at the, the teacher's assignment here. Then I'm going to do my homework. Okay, I finished it. And then let's go back. And I can look at my report. Because I log in as a student, I can only look at myself's report. I cannot look at other people's report. So here the, uh, the student's button is invisible. So here is the report and you can click and look at the details and then the teacher from here I believe we can pick any and then classroom assignment yeah here is the report that Amy just did and the teacher can look at the report right away okay so yeah here's our Abby talk classroom dashboard and Abby talk classroom apps we're going to build more uh, apps to work with our uh, dashboard and we have about like a 200 300 mobile apps and uh, we're going to update all of them and uh, make them to work with our Abby Talks dashboard, uh, uh, you know, the classroom dashboard. So I hope you enjoy our, um, you know, the, our app and uh, our website, and I hope you can find them help, helpful um, for your classroom. Okay, I'll see you next time.